Stepping up. That's right, Internet. I think this might be the first time ever that Pat has live streamed a game. Hashtag first. Waka Bar Champ, Cop Stopper Champ. He's got all types of stuff. Dumbo all right, here we go. I'll take all the champs. You wanna play against me? I'm gonna play too. All three of us? Okay. And Joe Cat. And Joe Cat. Joe, kick it out. I'll go. I'll let Pat go for it. That'll show us how it's done. Battle of the Titans. Pat, the whole internet is cheering your name. Give it up, internet. This is Pat Lawler, the game designer. Uh, Willy Wonka, and about 17 other games. They're perfect what you're trying to do. Player two is up. Bonus X increased. This is the most secret machine in my entire time. Ball one is not. Daniel, the internet is saying hi. So the internet wants to talk to you. They're all saying hi. Yeah. There we go. We're gonna put Skip Natty in too. This is Dan Spoiler, founder of one of the greatest organizations I've ever had a chance to work with. I'm excited for what we're going to do this summer. Thank you very much. I appreciate your help. Do you want to get into that? Or? Uh, no, I don't think it's the time and place. But if you uh, people have the means to contribute to Project Pinball, definitely a very great organization. Well, thank you. We put pinball machines in children's hospitals and Ronald McDonald moves across the United States. So if you haven't heard about us, uh, just find us on Facebook or uh, projectpinball.org. Uh, send us an email and we'll fill you in. But we're pinball enthusiasts and we're in the room uh, looking at the Willy Wonka. It looks like a... What do you think? One of these in a children's hospital? That's what I'm looking at. I just asked... Uh, Come on. I can't remember his name. Trying to hit the gobs out of it. I just asked Joe, uh, what does he think? Does it, uh, is it going to be suited for what we need? Exactly. That's what he said. Absolutely. Do it for this. This is the first time I've seen it. It's actually oh, quite wow. really wow. high. It's a surprise. Well, we have the outlays wow. open pretty high on this as far as uh, draining and stuff goes. Lock is it. The band of I just realized, like, I thought the ball was like bouncing out, like, and going high, but it actually like kicks out up here. The flow on this game is pretty awesome. So, so it's got an unusual configuration for where the ball comes out. So when the ball goes into the gobstopper, what happens is there's actually a three-ball lock under here. Okay. And what it does is it drops it back up into the shooter lane. And we can determine whether you're playing real multi-ball or not multi-ball or whatever, and then get the ball in motion. But it always comes back to the shooter when it's from under there. Okay, that's interesting. So, yeah, Lauren, just I like, talk a little like bit about I, the I, new boxes. My mind was thinking it was just like kicking out and going out. Uh, people packaging. haven't seen Thank tonight where you can actually uh, get far enough in the company, game, and this uh, thing will be open and it'll start us. to it'll start to play at a ball and trade balls. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. Now you can talk. 
Um, the assembly tool that we're including with every game will allow you to do everything. Um, put on leg levelers, put on um, the legs themselves, um, put on the little plate on the back to hold your line cord in, etc. Um, lots of protection, uh, shipping around the game to make it safe so it arrives to your home in one piece, not scraped up, not damaged. Oh. Um, I'm not sure how long Pat's been working on this. I think this... What, what's going on? After it dialed in, I guess, Pat started working on, on this one. Increased. Ah, love that way. Hungry. All right, I'm gonna flip this thing real quick. Radcals are available on any model, actually. Uh, you could actually put radcals on your standard if you'd like. Four hundred dollar upgrade, and they will be installed at the factory with the respective game's artwork. So a different art package for each game. Um, the games here are kind of mutts, so they all have the same art package, but the Collector Edition will have its own unique um, art package, as will the Standard and the LE. This is the most secret machine by a higher Um, Maybe after this game we can do a close-up of the play. They're asking for a close-up of the play field. Maybe after this game. I don't know if that works or not with our current rig. Okay. There's lots and lots of pictures online. If you go to straight down the middle, if you go to this week in pinball. Um, they both have videos and images. Um, we got to do a deep dive uh, last week. And they should have close-ups of all those toys and everything on their sites in the deep dives. Yeah, the programming department really knocked it out of the park with their with their lighting code on this game really looks like yeah, a candy so these, factory. Yeah, so there's a little mini magnet in each one of those circles. Oh, wow, that's cool. And now game programmer Joe Katz. Oh, yes. He's been shrunk. He's in the Wonkavator. Or... Wonka Vision. One swaggers. Rock is lit. Can't you see? It makes everlasting God stop. Thanks, Falcon. Snaz Wang. Fuck is it? 
net. Bonus X increased. Gobstoppers multiball. Still blowing it up. All right, I'm commentating Kevin's wall here. Oh, we're gonna go golf style. Kevin Manny. Kevin Manny stepping up to the game. Short plunging for effect. Really, Just really trying to be obnoxious. You should really right stabilize in the shooter lane as much as possible. Stabilize the shooter lane. Oh, almost. In case you don't play tournaments. Oh, look at that! Look at that post stop right there. That was very solid. We got that down. Got that going. There we go. Kevin, Ow. put the drain on the left out lane. I didn't even have to jinx him. Ball three. Feel free to jinx me as much as you like, Kev. So Wonka yells good day if you tilt out of the game. And also, uh, Joe, he says you get nothing at some point too, you're saying, right? He does, yeah, he does. If you um, if you go for the super skill shot and you have no other award. Oh, I was not ready for that. There's a chance he will tell you you get nothing and the lights will go black for like just a couple seconds. Just to kind of throw it in your face that you, you tried to go for the super skill shot but you completely failed and got nothing out of it. A little easier in there like that. Points. Are there any uh, super secret flipper codes in the game, or uh... you know, there might be, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think anybody's talked about it yet. I don't, I don't know. I haven't been watching the whole time, but it, sometimes when you're making combo ramps, you know, up in the upper left hand corner, the scrum to the umptious bar appears, and basically you're trying to spell scrum to the umptious, which is 19 letters long, and you could cash it in any time with however many letters you might have. But if you want to try to spell the whole word, you have to make 19 ram shots or 19 combo shots. And you could cash in that, that combo anytime as a cop stopper target, but the kind of the fun of it is trying to spell it and actually get all of it, which you'll look up in the left upper left-hand corner when he starts making ramps and they'll start to fill in the letters of that word, which is like a really long word, obviously. Yeah, that's a cool like risk reward kind of thing. I like that. Right. You know, something subtle that I don't think you know people are noticing on this game, and it's such a small thing, but the display for the scores is customizable. So like on the game we're playing right now, the scores are actually white. But if you looked at every other game in here, there's yellow ones, there's red ones, there's purple ones. It's just a setting in the settings that I thought was cool to put in there for people who want to like experiment with like, you know, maybe maybe I like it being green, maybe I like it being blue, maybe I like it being red. It's gonna default to red, but it's a small subtle thing and at the same time you could also change the the ball display next to the score to either be gumballs or steel balls. Fully customizable. All the models have it. Just a small little touch we like to put in there for people to customize the game they like the way they like it. Sure. Cool little uh, bits of polish that we we all appreciate for sure. All right, so there you go. So you've got the ass right now. Scrum to the umptious. I went away. The timeout ran. Out, okay. Right? So you get it by hitting combos. Yeah, exactly. So okay. it makes another ramp. It's the orange inserts that are flashing up the orange arrows. I uh, gotcha. Okay. It makes another one right here. Nice. Hopefully you guys saw Wonkatania on the stream. Has anyone gotten to Wonkatania Mania yet with the poem and the whole Wonkatania scene? I don't know if it's actually happened yet. Keep us in the it. Okay, great. That's kind of fun to see. It's such a spooky scene that like everyone's like, it's like the scene you remember as a kid because it was like the scene that scared you as a kid. Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Lawler multiball. Here we go. Here we go. Hurry up! 
Alright, so there's a golden there's a golden ticket hidden in Gobstopper Multi Ball. Essentially what you need to do is you need to get five Gobstopper jackpots, one for each kid. Oh nice. Which is essentially our super jackpot. Nice. So you get a number of jackpots from the ramps and the hole will open and you gotta get the hole in there and you get a gobstopper for it. Get five of those and you get a golden ticket out of it. And slugworth. And slugworth. And slugworth. Can I say it was slightly gratifying to see a magnet, a magnet throw, the throw the ball at you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I figured the internet would like oh, that yeah. a lot. I've got two X playfield running too along with me. Another thing that's kind of funny that we did is when you're in the Jets, you know, normally we have the floating score, obviously, right? But when you're in the Jets, it'll actually say, like, do pa d do. It'll actually put that in the floating score spot. Because, like, if you hear the audio, it's saying, like, oompa loompa for the Jets. And also in the floating score, you'll see the words coming up. It's kind of like mixing it with the scores, but you're seeing the letters of the, of the, of the speech. Yeah, see, there you go. Oompa d Floating, floating away. Yeah. yeah, the shots on this are classic Pat Lawler's yeah, buttery butter. smooth. Yeah, it's, butter. it's funny because I was thinking on a stream or on a podcast that like it's flow, but there's also stop and go. It's like a really happy mix of like you want to flow, you want to hit the ramps all day, go for it. But you know there is the stop and go with the locks and the gob stopper and the saucer, but but you got the ramps. I mean the ramps are just butter, so it's, it's like a happy mix of both. Another thing, uh, people. Ooh. There you go. I like the, uh, the lean <laughs> shot, the classic. You, you can meme that yourself. <laughs> um, you know, the, the candy cane lanes and the in lanes. So every time you complete those two lanes, you get a piece of candy. You get some candy in your candy no. jar, which is to the left of the score. Nice. And the amount of candy you have in that jar is actually increasing the spinner value over and over, like through the whole game. So, like, the more candy you get in that jar, the more the spinner's worth. Oh, wow, okay. So, so, then you get so he's got 10 right now. Right, so he's at 10 right now, and that jar keeps filling with candy. And if you could get, like, you know, 40 in there and get super spinner, then you're getting even more points from the super Maybe spinner. That wasn't gonna happen. And super spinner's also giving you Wonka bars for every spin. Nice. So, you're getting points for your candy, and you're getting Wonka bars for each spin you get. Super spinner in this game is like so satisfying. Okay. Yeah, I guess I got another mic right here. Two yeah. X Playfield. Well, super lock is lit. Awful. I wish I had aim today. Wait, wait, I'm winning eating me alive. Yeah, Pat crushing it. I know. <laughs> been doing that to me all night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Considering how much I've played this game, I'm surprised it's eating me alive like it is. Something, something, this is not the actual game you played, right? This isn't the same exact play field. It's, it's the funny. dimpling. Uh, I wish I could say that, but actually this is the one I've played the most of. Joe, you're not supposed to say that know, to anybody. I, I guess I just revealed my secrets of how bad I actually am, but if you haven't uh, seen, Joe Katz is an amazing pinball player, ladies and gentlemen. He's talking himself down. Wonka bar connected. Wonka bars. Uh, we got the Oompa Loompas walking around in the background carrying boxes, pushing wheelbarrows. Like, if you notice them, just once in a while they'll walk back and forth, you know, just pop up here and say, hey, you know, when you do something really good, some of them will pop up and cheer for you. Kevin Manny trying to push the game through the wall, failing miserably. Well, you know, those rants are feeling good, though. <laughs> I have no room to talk. Kevin's killing me. Stabilizing flip. I didn't know. Okay, we're actually gonna put it in play this time. Skip getting that skill shot. I did it. That shot is solid. One swagglers. Oh, Skip Natty failing miserably. At yeah, the... that's what he gets for talking trash about me. Skip Natty pulling it out. Player one. Player one. 
So do I. So Last ball. Leave the door open for me, Pat. Nothing to it. <laughs> Pat's extra ball. What you I want to know is... I balls in reserve, so you play your yeah, extra ball you know. at the end of the game. So... So you want to build up the captive ball, so... So do the ramps. So you need to do ramps to build up the captive ball right. award. So, you know, it starts at one, and you make a ramp, and it'll go to two. And if you stop making ramps, eventually it'll fall back to one. But if you can build it up to the question mark, there's a slew of modes in there, and especially Wonkatania Mania, which everybody loves to see. So maybe Pat will get it. We'll find out. Nobody... Has the internet seen they Wonkatania have. Mania Keith, tonight? Keith got it, yeah. yeah. Keith got it, okay. So we're just saying we're playing. Wow. That's going back. Oh, yeah, there you go. Don't move. Oh, it's uh, it's that all. all of our games do that, yeah, but none of them are the also games. Yeah, it got it got implemented after the fact. I think we're going. It's a very delicate battle. <laughs> there you go. I only need two more. I only need two more. I want to go for you, too. So we have a question. Where is Jersey Jack tonight? Jack is in France doing the exact same thing that we're doing, except he's doing it for the France audience. So the global, worldwide yeah, launch party. Yeah, like eight hours ahead of us, so like they should probably be opening the game up any minute now, I'd imagine. Again, I have no idea what time it is, but they might be opening it right now, too. Yeah. Amazing. So right now in the in the computer, he's actually got one of the four computer modes lit. Uh, right now it's Wonka Bar Craze. Uh, something I did with those modes is they all share the same timer like Simpsons does. So like, let's say he starts Wonka Bar Craze and he goes into the saucer and it starts running. Well, there'll be a 30 second timer for that mode. And if he starts another one on top of that, it'll reset the timer back to 30 and the other mode will be running along with it. So they'll both be running together with a reset timer. Yeah, you got all that? I desperately need the kickback lid again. I'll tell you that yeah, right you, now. You probably do need a kickback. You gotta hit that M though. I gotta hit that M. That M is not easy to hit. Yeah, she's gonna join us. You might as well play, play on three, Mark. Snaz Wang. Bonus headlock is it. GG from Pat Lawler. You leave the door open. Yeah. So. I don't know. Thank you, Scotty, too, Heidi, for those bids. Really I need to actually like, do something in this game. If you guys enjoy what you're seeing and really appreciate any follows you want to give us, uh, it's free to do and really supports the channel. Additionally, if you want to share a Twitch Prime sub with us that you might not be using, I uh, really appreciate that well as well, or any other uh, any other support you want to give. It uh, helps us get out here. So I, I, I just collected events. a kid. And I have two of the kids available for kid multi ball. Well, that's not exactly ideal, but being down by 200,000 with one ball left, I think I'm just going to take it if I can make it. Uh, so every kid you bring into kid multi ball adds a ball. Every completed kid you bring into multi ball adds an X value to all the completed kid jackpots. So having two kids, not the best, but right now I think I'm just going to try to take it. So Rosie, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. Oh, so I just have Violet and Mike, but that's not the worst. It'd be nice if I can get a Super Axe going it with this. Augustus Please give that back to me. Nope. Nope. So I got add a ball at the, at the uh, green Wonka Tower, and I just missed it. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Joe with the rage still, ladies and gentlemen. Don't do that at all. I mean, you can do it on your own game. Pat Lawler. 
Look at that. That's weird. Yeah, it was an honor playing with you, sir. It was great. Yeah, was thanks great. for coming on stream. Really appreciate it. Candy jar champ. Yay. You gonna play? You wanna play? Yeah. All right. You wanna get in? Yeah. We're in a build. We're in a, an industrial building here. Where that. It, I've been noticing that some of the games are like sitting at a little bit of low line right now. So I'm going to turn up the left flipper a little bit. Okay. I was playing. Okay. Yeah, and it's been running for what, like three hours straight now. Yeah. The coils are certainly warmed up. Yeah, for sure. That's the beauty of the JJP game. You can adjust all that stuff to make it play just how you want. So you're seeing some of the behind the scenes stuff of a pinball machine right now. This is the menu system where you can adjust all the strengths of the flippers and the kickouts and the coils. So, Pat's just uh, getting that set up. Thank you, sir. You guys are all good. 